working with the Minister. And for the record, that product does comply with the safety and quality standards of Australia's Therapeutic Goods Administration. Up next, why it's time for some ageing rockers to kiss their fans goodbye. We're very thankful about all the years people have given us a chance to get up and live out our dreams. Recipe for a party. After 25 years of loud music and explosive onstage performances, legendary rock band KISS are calling it quits, but not before one last fling, a world tour, to say goodbye to their legion of fans. Australia's on their itinerary, of course, and Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley joined us from Los Angeles to explain why the carnival is over. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley, welcome. Hello, Australia. Hey there. How are you? Hello, mm -hmm. KISS. Now, KISS has had such an up and down career. It's been going for so long, at least 25 years. Are, are people surprised to see that you're still around? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're judging, wonderful. <laughs> judging from, um, you know, the turnouts that we've had over the last 25 years, I think the only people that are amazed at the, the uh, longevity of the band are the ones who don't like us because they want us to go away, unfortunately. There are millions who want us to stay. So once again, we'll be uh, coming to your shores and uh, shores. bringing... Shores. Shores? Shores. They pronounce it shores. Sure. Oh, yeah, I thought shores. we were... <laughs> sure. Okay. Now, now, you've obviously, over this period, for much of the period you've been together, you have kept makeup manufacturers in great business. But I want to know, have the costumes, have, has your regalia, Gene, changed in the 25 years? <laughs> yeah, the, the outfits keep uh, the outfits keep changing through the years. In fact, uh, we just finished a long American tour, which uh, became the number one tour again, above and beyond the boy bands and Springsteen, some other very good bands. And to make a long story short, what happens is when you put these outfits in the closet, we come out of the closet. You see, <laughs> what happens is they actually dry up and get ro stiff, stiff as a rock. So. Right now I'm sitting here, if I look like I'm in pain, it's not because I'm on TV, it's because these outfits are murderous. Now, your success really is amazing. I mean, 75 million albums sold. Did you keep surprising yourselves that you kept managing to be successful? We're very thankful, to be quite serious for a second, about all the years people have given us a chance to get up and live out our dreams. And before we call it quits one last time, we want to do it the right way on stage in front of our bosses. It's not television, it's not current affairs, it's not you, it's not the media. It never has been. I mean, it's nice to get your picture in front of all these people. At the end of the day, our bosses are our fans. Now, th this tour down under and, and the one you're doing in America at present is being touted as the last tour, the farewell tour. I have to ask you, is this another publicity stunt? Some bands have made careers out of having the last farewell tour, the final farewell tour, we really mean it farewell tour. We really care too much for our fans to play that one out unless we really meant it. Oh, that tongue. <laughs> Is it still as long as it ever was? And, and do you still breathe fire? Um, yes, bombs, fireworks, anything we can do to give you bang for the buck is what KISS has always been about. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley of KISS, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Look we'll see you there! Now for a quick look at one of our stories next week. It's the 87-year-old mother throwing...